these kids dude we had a great so here's a list of like the top phrases that we had as 90s kids so yeah yeah thank you thank yeah. you thank you far too kind oh. and yeah, dude oh. just like, I get a, uh, cool. we rocked it the 90s were amazing I mean, just to name a few, we had Rocket Power, we had Rugrats, we had pretty much Disney Channel was rocking back then, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon Guts, Double Dare 2000, I mean, obviously it came out in 2000, but all the game shows. A lot of kids will not admit to that, like nowadays. They're like, dude, the 90s were not that good. Yo, know, if you didn't live the 90s, you don't understand. Rocket Power was so good that it was on in the late 2000s, early 2010s because of how good it was. on Nickelodeon, like the reruns, even after it had been off the air for like 10 years, just because it was that good. Us kids loved it. We would wake up early. I used to record old Rocket Power episodes when I had a DVR because I loved it that much. Like it was that amazing. I found it so fun. So, I mean, 90s kids, we had it awesome. So what are some of the phrases? Let me start off with some of the more dumber ones, the ones that don't really have a whole lot of meaning. Shiznit. We had the phrase shiznit. No reason for that phrase to exist. No context where it really ever worked um, in natural conversation. I mean, really all you could say with it is like, dude, that's the shiznit. Or basically it just became um, a way for people to make graffiti. Like, Shiznit was on so much graffiti, and that was that. Like, that's all it was, and we, we did it like that. I mean, that's, that was the Shiznit. So going off of all that, that was the bomb. Can't really say that much anymore. You can't just walk up to things and be like, dude, that car is the bomb. Dude, like, your sunglasses are the bomb. Like, you, you can't say those kind of things for certain reasons. Um, there's a few different reasons, but you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to dwell on any of that. We just, we had a ton of fun in the 90s, but the 90s were the bomb. Like, we rocked it out every single day in, day out. We had so much fun. Like, the 90s were so good, we thought the world was going to end because the 90s were ending. Like, you know, like, we just didn't think we, anything could handle the 90s ending. Nothing had ever been in the 2000s. There still exists a general state of either denial, complacency, or even apathy about both the reality and the potential effects of Y2K. By the end of the 90s, many of us were happy slaves to our computers. But our new masters had a trick they'd forgotten to tell us about. The basic idea on Y2K was that, for convenience, all these computer programs, when it came to do dates, you only needed two numbers. Why use four numbers when you only need two? And then they recognized, what date is a computer going to think it is when we get to 2000? Everything was always in the 1000s. So, I mean, you had to just take it with a grain of salt, right? But seriously, other phrases from the 90s, other things from the 90s that we miss, we loved, um, recess, of course, had its own set of words. Sorry I got you sent to the wall, Vince. Every kid knows you're not supposed to cuss in school. Hey, I laughed and repeated it. It's just, <laughs> boogerhead. That's a classic. You know what we need, Vince? We need a word that will never get us in trouble. A word that doesn't mean anything. That way, when we stub a finger playing wall ball or spill out cocoa in our laps, we can yell without ending up at the wall. Neat. But what's the word? It's got to be something short, sweet, and meaningless. How about sprocket? I think that's a part of a tractor. Borscht? That's some sort of dessert. Phlegm? So gross. Oh, man. This making up stuff womps. Womps? That's it. No giving skin 
end of the wall. Oh, the other ones. Yo Mama jokes. Yo Mama jokes used to be in in the 90s. So much so that we actually made a show about it. That's when the that's when um, MTV kind of did this weird thing where it stopped playing music and it sucked. I don't really understand why it decided to do that, but it did. And it sucked, like I said. MTV got away from doing its normal thing and basically ruined their channel. So, and then of course you had the I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say, bounce off me and sticks back to you. Stupid little quirks like that were the, from the 90s. Obviously they were from before that, but hey, the 90s kids will take credit. We do that a lot. We take credit for all the millennial problems. Yeah, there you go. Ride his ass. Stop riding my ass. So, more phrases that 90s kids will understand and remember. Um, we had so many. I mean, we just said so much stupid stuff. We came up with so many weird things. But like seriously, as I was saying, Yo Mama it kind of like started that whole ruin of MTV. Um, Yo Mama jokes, thank you Napoleon Dynamite, kind of like perpetuated it. With your mom goes to college. And you know, I mean, that was basically just, again, more stupid 90s kids coming up with more stupid 90s things. And we enjoyed it because we were stupid 90s. What's up? It's a pretty sweet bike. Huh? It's a sweet bike. Hey. The YouTube channel. I want to see how fast that thing is. Dude, those Hayabusa's are crazy fast. He's giving himself space too. It's got a sweet sound too. <laughs> yeah? Turbo. I like it. <laughs> I hope it works out. <laughs> and it's really going to be stupid fast. Huh? <laughs> then it's really going to be stupid fast. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, anyway, sorry for interrupted your daily normal content but that's a pretty sweet interruption um other things that 90s kids say i mean of course there was your typical what's up what's up what's up what the? who's that yo pick up the phone What's up? What's up? That was immortalized by a scary movie. They made that what it is. And. Dude, that's so sick. He took the pipe off of it. It sounds so crazy. Dude, get off my ass. What is your issue? Why do so many people love my ass? It's not that good. Like, check it out. It's not exactly as fun. It's not exactly as nice as you think it is. Holy hell. If I'm forgetting one, leave one leave it in the comments cuz there's tons of them and I'm probably forgetting about millions, but hey. Dude, you're driving a Kia Forte. Are you kidding me?
Like, what? Oh, the other thing 90s kids did. Mighty Ducks, Rocket Power, I'm probably forgetting a few. Secret handshakes started with the 90s babies. Like, well, not started, but like perfected. We're perfected because of the 90s babies. We always had secret handshakes. Why? I don't know, but the Bash Brothers had their secret handshake. Um, it was the boom, boom, boom. Like, um, obviously, Rocket Power, the woogity, 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 like some crazy stuff from the 90s. But don't say you're a 90s baby if you're not. You just don't understand. You don't understand the 90s if you have an iPhone and you're under the age of, let's say, 12. Because when we got our first cell phone, it was a flip phone. It didn't text unless you wanted to pay five cents per like word. Um, you didn't have internet. Whenever you clicked the internet thing, basically you had to hit the end button as quickly as possible before you got charged about a hundred dollars up the up the like for no reason except for the fact that you pressed that internet button. Like there was no such thing as data back then. You did not have Facebook. You did, like MySpace was a thing in that time period in that era like those things you guys don't even know what myspace is anymore and if you do like it's not what it was let's end it on that note this is your friendly neighborhood motor vlogger saying the 90s were amazing and us 90s babies rocked it out we had so much fun with it